Hey you guys, it's me Swiftly Piggy and I'm here with Titan. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, and today I'm going to be, well we're going to be doing a video on how to give a chinchilla a dust bath. So let's get started. Alright, so in this video I'm going to talk about kinds of dusts, bathing containers, and the importance of dust bathing for chinchillas and etc. Here are some notes I wrote. So I'm going to start off with why you need to give your chinchillas dust baths. As you can see, Titan is completely enjoying his dust bath. Here's Chico. His fur looks a little crazy back there, but that's because he was fur slipping with Titan earlier today because Titan was humping him and he did not like that. But yeah, here's the chinchillas. All right, so chinchillas shouldn't really ever be bathed using water because their fur is really dense, um, if you can see. Look at his fur. When you're holding them, you can, and it put, and you, your hand pushes down their fur, you can see really how small they actually are. Well, usually, Titan's actually a really big chinchilla, but Chico, he looks so little. So yeah, their fur is really dense, which means that if you bathe them with water, the water will get trapped beneath their fur because it's really hard to properly dry a chinchilla that got wet. So that's basically why you shouldn't be bathing your chinchilla with water. The only person who can really tell you that it's medically necessary for you to bathe your chinchillas, and there have been some instances where they need to be washed with water, but you should really ask a vet. Chinchillas, they originate from the Andes Mountains in South America, and there they would roll around in volcanic ash. So ultimately, dust, chinchilla dust, is volcanic ash and is replicating what they would do in their natural habitat. So it's so important to give your chinchillas dust baths because its purpose is to clean out the excessive dirt and oils that's on your chinchilla's fur or on your chinchilla's skin. And because the dust is so fine, that's why it's able to go through their fur and properly clean it. When you give your chinchilla a sand bath, like if you go to the store, there's chinchilla dust and there's chinchilla sand. You really should only be using the dust because the dust is what's actually like fine enough to properly clean their coats. So basically that's the overview about why you have to give your chinchillas a dust bath and the importance of it and why they shouldn't be getting water baths. So now I'm going to talk about kinds of dust. There are two kinds of dusts that you should be using. You should either use blue cloud dust or blue sparkle. Blue sparkle dust gives your chinchillo, chinchillas a little like sparkle, hence the name, in their fur. I personally use blue cloud dust because that's what I can easiest, easiestly get my hands on. The kind I get is by All Living Things and I think it's really good. I haven't really tried any other dust, but I think it works really nicely and you can order it online. You hear that thumping? Yeah, sorry if there's any like crazy sounds going on upstairs. Um, we're getting some work done in our house, so that's probably what you hear. Hello, Titan. You're so big. Hello. Hello, Titan. What are you doing over there? Yeah, I just put this humongous box in here. I don't know if they would play with it. <laughs> and then they had their carrier, which they closed the door. Do you want me to open it? I think it's funny because sometimes they'll open it because they'll push it out the way. I'm gonna see if they if I can catch it on camera. Yeah, there's a dust bath in there. It's facing the wrong way though. <laughs> Hello, Chinchilla. You guys are so cute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting super distracted. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm using my older camera to film this video because it auto focuses while I'm filming. So it's much easier. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's much easier to film the chinchillas because they move so much. I would say I give them a dust bath two to three times a week. The reason you don't want to give it to them too much, like, okay, so you don't want to leave it in their cage because they can, like, 
as you can see they poop in it and sometimes they'll pee in it and that's not good because then they'll roll around in it and it'll stick to their fur and that's just really unhygienic that's also why it doesn't really matter a lot of people want to get ceramic dust bath containers but honestly I don't think it really matters because you're gonna be supervising them while they're getting their dust baths or at least I think you should so if you're gonna be supervising them which is what I always do it really doesn't matter if it's plastic or not because if they chew it you can just get them to stop unless you can show there's like a crazy chewer and like you can't get them to stop so then you should get a ceramic one and also too if you leave it in their cage you don't really know how much they're giving themselves a dust bath like titan he goes crazy in the dust bath and he'll stay in there for like 10 minutes straight because he just absolutely loves to keep himself nice and clean but it's kind of it's bad if they get dust baths too much because it can cause dry patches on their skin and they can start losing fur on their dry patches so I wouldn't recommend giving it to them more than I would say three or four times don't give it to them more than that a week so a little bit more about the containers is as you can see that one in their carrying case oh my gosh tiny are you stuck holding it <laughs> you're cute where's chico oh there's chico but yeah so the container i have two kinds of containers i have this plastic bin container which i kind of like this one for playtime because it's pretty big and there's a lot of space for them to roll around and play in but then the blue little house one it's probably the most common one that one's also good because it's really good for transportation like if you're transporting your chichilla from one part of your house to the other you just have to cover the hole but i wouldn't don't completely cover the hole because then they won't really be able to breathe what are you doing you're so cute are you advertising are you advertising but yeah, you know the little ceramic containers or dust baths you can get at pet stores with the little ears on them? Um, you really, I wouldn't recommend those ones because they're so small that they can't properly roll around in. Like, I don't even think Titan would be able to fit in that because he is humongous. So make sure you get one that is big enough for them to roll around with. I would recommend having two different kinds, like this kind during playtime and then that kind if you need to transport them. So I also get um, some questions about the dust itself and how it affects humans. So I do have to say, when people think they're allergic to chinchillas, sometimes they are, but usually it's the dust they're allergic to that the chinchillas roll around in. So before you get a chinchilla, make sure that you are not allergic to the dust or the chinchilla. But um, yeah, I just want, I felt like it was important to add in that the dust can cause allergic reactions for people. And another thing is dust gets everywhere. This is kind of a big con for a lot of people as far as chinchillas go, is that the dust gets everywhere. As you can see on the top of the carrier, there's already dust footprints all over. Um, there's dust all over the floor here. You have to clean their cage. Well, of course you have to clean their cage, but you should also like scrub off the dust if there's any extra dust on their cage but it's not too hard to clean up i guess like it's manageable it's just for a lot of people it can be quite annoying or bad for people with allergies so i think that's pretty much it i have to say about chinchilla how to give a chinchilla dust bath it's there's not too much too many things it's just basically natural for them so they know how to use a dust bath you don't really have to teach them or anything it's pretty simple they they know what to do and i'm sorry the chinchillas aren't even in the frame right now they're behind the carrier probably eating my door because that's what they do now i have um some updates for you guys because i know i've i kind of left youtube for a little bit unannounced I didn't think I was going to be taking a break from YouTube. It was because I was pretty overwhelmed, so I was kind of taking a break. But I've kind of gotten things under control. Look forward to more videos. I'm thinking about filming a video of all my pets in one video because that was highly requested. And I'm really sorry for all the knocking. Another thing I wanted to mention was that on May 4th, which was um, this past week on Sunday, it marked uh, Snowflake's uh third 
year um, of his passing. He passed away May 4th of 2011. And so I was going to do a video this year on that day, kind of talking about him, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I was, uh, I was, that was, it's a really, really hard day, um, for me. I've been thinking about it a lot and I want to do a video kind of about Snowflake because, um, I know uh, some of my newer subscribers, uh, maybe don't, haven't looked through my older videos and they don't really know who Snowflake is and I think it, it's, Definitely really important for everyone really to know he's the reason that all these animals have a home right now and uh, he's the reason I'm here and yeah, I really love him. So, uh, but yeah, thank you guys on Instagram. I posted um, a picture on May 4th. Thank you guys all for your really, really, really nice comments. I always go back um, on my old videos with Snowflake and read your comments because you guys are so sweet and you're so nice. So thank you guys so much for that. And yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Um, follow us on Instagram, which is just Snowflake Piggy. And you can leave any requests in the comment section below. Expect videos weekly on Saturdays now. I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys all in my next video, which will hopefully be next week. Alright, thank you guys. Bye, Chico. Say goodbye. Bye.